thrived, people. It's happening. We're a few days in. I feel better <laughs> than ever. I mean, actually, I've never participated. I was going to say, you like even saying vlog is, just makes me tired. Well, it brings back a lot of flashbacks <laughs> for you. That's why. It was a lot. Wait, yeah. so wasn't this your entrance into the world? It of basically was my entrance into the world. You of have YouTube. a lot. You should write Vlogmas a thank you card for being the launch pad for your career, baby why girl. Why are you not Vlogmasing uh, now? It's too much work. Okay. No, thank oh, you. You could do it for the Lil's channel. Yes. No. No, I promote every day, which you do not. No, and like the second, I feel like for the beginning, it would be like, oh, cool and exciting stuff. And then the second half would be like me in my bed being Bored. like, I'm tired. I, I feel like Vlogmas <laughs> is one of those things that you would need to pre-produce starting in like July. For sure. Because Unless. it is so much work. Unless. Hold on, I have a question really quick. Does everyone know what Vlogmas is? Oh, it's oh. when you vlog every day until the end of, like every day of December. Right, and it's actually uh, responsible for getting a lot of YouTubers as to who they are, being mm -hmm. famous. I think Megan's one that got popular from Vlogmas. She right? definitely was already popular, but mm -hmm. then she vlogged her nose job or comedy, Oh my gosh, the Olivia was, situation. Yes, yes. Olivia. By the way, I've not watched Vlogmas of anyone else <laughs> except <laughs> Megan <laughs> and yes. Olivia Vlogmas because it was such a captivating story. It had, a, had an art to it. At the end, you're like, mm -hmm. I want to see what happened it to did. Olivia. There was a payoff. Yeah. Wait, was Olivia the nose? Yes. yes. Oh. Olivia was her nose. Yes. Oh. Is her nose. But it is interesting because Megan is someone who did Vlogmas with a real story to tell mm -hmm. and without any other intentions, really. And I think people reacted to that. But now a lot of people are jumping on this Vlogmas bandwagon. But why? Is it just a business move? Or because, I mean, which is yeah. fine. If you're open about it, I'm totally cool with business moves. Completely. And like someone like, I know Jesse Smiles last year started to do it and then she got like seven days in and was like this is you know dumb. what I'm she found herself like trying too hard she's like then you're just trying to find stuff to do every day right. and all you're thinking about is filming and then you and like, that's why we're asking is vlogmas essentially fake are people doing it because we do know December is the best month for advertisements mm -hmm. on people's channels I think Colleen even in her first video of vlogmas this year was saying oh of course we do it for the ads the ads are the best and it brings a lot of attention to people if you look at a lot of these YouTubers second channels they haven't actually been active since the last vlogmas so they'll pick up every vlogmas but well, I also and also like, that's the key is that people don't put it on their main channel. No. They put it on their vlog channel because they don't want to like bog Bump down their, their current channel. Right. All their... But it's like, if you're going to watch, then I'm going to be here every but do day. do people who subscribe to these channels actually think that these videos aren't business moves? At this point in YouTube's lifespan, I think we pretty much all know that most of what YouTubers do is because it's a business move. <laughs> yeah, Whether it, And it could be like a passive business move. You're just trying to build up a series or something. But at the end of the day, they're doing it for you and they're doing it also to make money so they can continue mm -hmm. doing stuff for you. So it's like, I'm not surprised that but this I is a But I don't think move. it starts out with that intention. I think people start on YouTube because maybe they don't have a lot to do. Maybe they're genuinely interested in YouTubing or creating videos. Like, you were always super into making videos before yeah, you were ever on the internet or thought that this could be a job for you. Mm -hmm. But then I do think once you start seeing numbers and once you start seeing money and it becomes your main gig, then What's, I feel like it's it your turns job. into a business. 100%. And that's when clickbait and all of that stuff happens. But then I still like to believe that it is Christmas time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is fun. Like, yeah. of course I want to go watch My Life is Ava picking out a Christmas tree with her <laughs> boyfriend that has a six pack. You that's know? because like, nothing, everything she does is adorable and you want to watch. Yes. Right. So, but well, that's why I think the best way to approach something like Vlogmas or vlogging in general is to look at it, if you are a big YouTuber, as a combination platter, a business opportunity or a marketing opportunity to get more viewers or subscribers, but also a really cool annual opportunity to show your viewers a totally different side of yourself, Completely. a totally different medium, whether you're shooting all the videos yourself and maybe that's not what you normally do. Because I know that you guys, our viewers, love nothing more than a little BTS action. Well, yeah, anyway. hence uh, lunchy break. Yeah, exactly. Lunchy break. Lunchy oh, break. here's the video I was actually talking about. Yeah, yeah. Like, how adorable. Is that a saw? They're yes, like, they went to an Christmas actual, tree. that's why I was jealous because the Christmas tree farm I went to, it was just like already cut and already there. We like picked it up, moved it to the that's car. That's not a problem. Didn't you just like have a like a Christmas chainsaw tree at your Christmas tree that's farm? Right. Yeah. She, was yeah. a, she, she went, went to a, a Christmas tree farm. Christmas tree farm. Yeah. And, yeah, I think that's probably because she lives in Malibu and there probably are. Oh, in the boo-boo. Well, no, but everything. so the thing is also that a lot of people, vlogging is a kind of almost like a fun challenge, I think, for people. Mm -hmm. Because it's not only that you're filming all day, but then you have to go edit it 
and mm -hmm. put it up and have to have it be entertaining. Well, but I think a lot. I think you're right. A lot of people who have been on YouTube and are established aren't doing this every day. I mean, maybe some are, and I think that's what the authentic like Megan version is that exactly. people love. But a lot of these people on the real, you guys don't get it twisted. They have produced these videos like two months ago. Yeah, yeah and people. Definitely. I feel like a lot of YouTubers are texting other YouTubers, being like, "Hey, sorting out my vlog miss. Do you want to do a video yeah. together?" Like months in advance. And I advance. think that's great. Why that's not? Awesome. There's nothing wrong with collabing. I think what you're getting at is that it makes it seem like, "Look at us. We all hang out and we're all in this fun YouTube world together." Right. As if they're all like living on right. the same block. And yeah. that's absolutely not the case. I don't think. <laughs> yes, YouTubers are friends, but I also. Think think they play up a lot of the friendships for the, mm -hmm. the videos. Yeah. And I don't know. I mean, I and don't see any problem with it, but I also, just think if you're calling it out like it's not a fake setup thing, like not a collaboration, like we're just friends, I think when you set it up that way, then it seems fake because you're basically lying. Just say, oh my gosh, we are, I'm going to collab with people. They're not my friends and we're not just hanging out. Like this right. is like an intentional mm -hmm. thing. Well, and that's like something Lily out. Singh is doing, isn't she? It's like 12 days of collabs or something mm -hmm. where yeah. it's like flat out like, look, I'm going to be collabing yeah. with people here. Enjoy. People love collabs. There's well, no that's problem. also how Tyler Oakley got popular yeah. in the first place. Yeah. I mean, collabing with somebody every day for the month of December. Yeah, I no, think it was it actually was. so. I actually ran into him the month that his channel was blowing really? up. And I remember talking to him and being like, dude, what the heck, your channel is exploding. Obviously, he's an amazing personality and very talented and hardworking, but he did something called August. Oh, where like every that. single day he had a different guest and they got bigger and better as the month went on, all culminating with the final video being his favorite celebrity at the time, which was the group One Direction. Uh, so yeah, it really that. had a build, it had a story, it had mm -hmm. an arc. And um, when I mean, it's fun. Like that, people don't mind if it's pre produced. That's yeah. something that's like a cool show that he's uh -huh. producing for but people. But even for Vlogmas, I feel like it's great because if you love a personality, you want to see that personality every day. And with this Vlogmas, you get to know that when you wake up tomorrow, you can watch that content. It's kind of like your favorite show being on every single day. So even if it is fake, I kind of like the idea of it because it is Christmas mm -hmm. time, yeah. it is fun. However, being that person, I don't know how that would play into your life because uh, in a relationship or mm. in like it's a time commitment it's, like it's mm -hmm. a big but thing. it also like then becomes toxic I feel like because if you're you're posting your whole life then your friends are also a part of your life and then mm -hmm. it would like I feel like it would really mess but up But that's why I would like to see it, because I want to see the different shades yeah. of people. Like, you know, people see us typically at our best, but wouldn't you kind of like to see us when we're having a total meltdown? You think this is our best, Justin? <laughs> <laughs> the like, things we, we do on Clever is... Well, we try. We try, we're, we're, we try you guys. We try so hard to look like... I just drooled. Do you see what's on my face? She does that Drool. a lot. Her but also, I think that that's the whole point of Vlogmas, is that it's only a month. There's mm -hmm. a finish line. So it's like, even if you don't want to reveal your entire life, it's just the month of December, which happens to have some fun milestones just in it. Just tell all your friends not to come hang out with you if they don't <laughs> want to be on the internet for the yeah. month of December. Also though, you could absolutely have, like I think, and this is the case for some YouTubers, you kind of have two lives. Is that you like, they'll have, have their friends that they lives. hang out with off camera, but then they have their friends that they hang we out with on camera. Well, about we were this. talking about this, even take away YouTube, just Instagram. Like, yeah. I could have a best friend that I'm mm -hmm. with every day, but you're probably still gonna see Jocelyn yeah. more than you would see That's that person. Because because some, some of your friends might be public people that don't want to be photographed. Mm -hmm. Others yeah. just don't want to be a part of your social media life because they don't want weirdos following them. Not that you guys are weird, but And like, in reality, guys, we there. all hate each other and don't hang out at all. <laughs> 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 it's so interesting. I don't uh, care if Vlogmas is fake no. anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, I watch scripted stuff all the time. Who cares? I don't. I know it's scripted, and I just watch it anyway. Yeah. Honestly, my only takeaway from Vlogmas is hats off to all of you because it is a lot of work. And I feel like a lot yeah. of these people, uh, a lot of these YouTubers, that is their job in the month of December. And I feel like they wake up and they're like, oh, I got to make a video today. Yeah, like what so should then I do? It's actually filming all day and then sitting down around dinner time and editing. Well, and that's what. I'm sorry, it's working all day and making videos? That sounds like our job. Very but it's also familiar. <laughs> <laughs> but I also think uh, vlogging is so strange because- It is hard. It, it, but to watch is, I, that's a form of content that I would have never expected to hit, but then when you watch it, it's so oddly I mean, it's the epitome of being relatable. <laughs> 
Wow. 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 Mind wow. blown. Wow. You're so quirky and smart. All right, and you guys. Uh, let us know what you think about Vlogmas in the comment section below. I'm sure you love it just as much as we do. Uh, we love you lots, and we'll be back here with more videos in the new year. Yes. All right, you guys, click over to the left to watch us talk about PewDiePie calling out Lily Singh and also the YouTube Rewind, or click over to the right to get all the details on Facetune taken over. Great.